Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to set an audio editor for Sony Vegas Movie Studio and then how to use that audio editor to apply effects to different parts of your audio track and even how to remove vocals from audio tracks when you have someone speaking and you'd rather hear the background music. Let me show you how to do that. First thing you want to do in Sony Vegas Movie Studio is go to Options and Preferences. And under Preferences, you want to select the Audio tab. And on the audio tab, you want to go down to where it says preferred audio editor. And in yours, this is going to be blank. And you want to browse to an audio editor you have on your computer. On my computer, I have the latest version of Audacity. So I've set that as my audio editor. And that's a good choice. Audacity is a free program and it has lots of great features. Once you've set that, click OK. Now in your project, decide where you want to edit some audio. For example, in my project here, I have a, a background narration that starts about here. I'll turn it up so you can hear it. The Legacy Trail in Venice, Florida. What was once an abandoned... So you can see there's a nice narration voice. Now if you wanted to remove that voice and keep the music, you can do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're just going to remove it from here to here in our timeline. And to do that, I'm going to press the S key, which splits. And I press it again when I have over here and split that. What I've done is just split this segment out. Now with that segment split, I'm going to right click and select Open Copy in Audio Editor. And what that's done is open a copy of that segment of the track and my audio editor, since I've specified my audio editor to be Audacity, it opens up in Audacity. Now in Audacity, I can highlight the part of that track that I want to edit and click Effect. And one of the effects in the latest version of Audacity is Vocal Remover. So I click Vocal Remover and it tells me some things about the Vocal Remover. One of the options is remove vocals, and I can remove vocals from the entire spectrum. And I can enter a band lower and upper limit. I'm just going to accept the defaults and then click OK. And now you can see the vocals are removed. I can play that to hear that. So the vocals are removed. And what I want to do now is file and export. When I export it, I want to choose the file that was created in Sony Vegas Movie Studio when I said make a copy and take it to the audio editor. And that file will be in the project you've just created. So there's the file that it created. I click Save. It tells me it already exists. I know that, and I click Yes. Then I click OK. And I close Audacity. And you notice now that that file that we copied and saved is now in place on the timeline. And if I play that, you notice that the vocal is now gone. Now, we can apply any effects on Audacity to any part of our track. And I just wanted to show you the vocal remover just to show you an extreme example of what you can do with the editor. Now, again, to do that, what we did is we selected the part of the track that we wanted to edit. We used the S key, which is split. We split out the segment that we wanted to edit. We right-clicked on that audio segment. We chose Open Copy in Audio Editor. And it's important to say Open Copy. And then there's the copy that we chose to open in the audio editor. Now in the audio editor, we can go in and we can apply any effects to any part of that copy. So if I want to go in and apply an effect like echo, I can click that effect. Or if I want to do noise removal for just that segment, I can do noise removal just for that segment. And then once I've applied whatever effect I want, I click File, Export. And notice that now there's a new take name. And that's because that's the new take that we've just split out. So I'll just write over the top of that one. Click Yes. Click OK, close Audacity, and whatever we've done to that clip will now show up on our timeline. It's real easy to do. Again, the first step that you had to do was click Options, Preferences, Audio, and choose an audio editor. You only have to do this once. Once you've chosen it, it'll always show up in all your future projects. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find a lot more like this at www.bmyers.com. Or if you want to learn a lot about Sony Vegas Movie Studio, you might want to take a look at my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio. It's available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.